moving if not it disappear <laughs> yeah so we're we're going to be going live now and i think that um let me see i i've got to refresh my uh my other i got computer. the notification on my side monica all right so we are live we are go we're good to go everybody hi everybody anybody let's are. let's wait some people will start to join us and i'll be able to i look over to the other uh, computer to see as people are joining um but yeah so Wow. Well, you, you got a nice background, Jonathan. Now I need to switch mine. Um, but if, if you go to the, the camera on, on your Zoom, Tony, there's an arrow you click up. You can choose a virtual background. There's a, options to choose a virtual background there. Um, yeah. I'm going to be working on that. Or yeah. I'm going to walk out on the patio and have a beer with Jonathan in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know what? Definitely come on out. Enjoy the view. The, you know, it's nice and cool. The no snow in the background. <laughs> That's the great thing about being a realtor. Y'all could do that. I gotta wait till 5:30. <laughs> uh, that's no fun. Uh, so we do have a few people that have started to join us. Um and well Tony Tony, Tony look what uh, I know you can't see it, but you can kind of see that, that president. Oh there nice. You go. We. Nice. Well, if we're if we're showing off, I mean <laughs> come on, Tony. <laughs> come on. This is for the yeah. association. Let's see. I always get nice. it wrong. We got the one in for the association. There we go. The corporate ally program. Nice. Look at that. Love it. Nice. Love it. And here's another little ditty on the come on. Working. Hall oh of yeah. Fame. Nice. <laughs> Hall, oh, Hall of Fame. That's what I'm shooting for. You're gonna get there. President Circle Hall of Fame. It's gonna happen. This is this does this look like a does this look like a tree pack chairman? Oh wow. <laughs> <laughs> sure does. <laughs> you just take your pick and you, you you can have a different color every day. <laughs> well I started, I started putting those in there thinking if I ever lost one, I'd have an extra. And then thank goodness, knock on wood, I hadn't lost one yet. So. <laughs> yeah, well, it didn't goodness. look like you had. Uh, well, we want to welcome everybody who's joined us today for Membership Monday. Again, we are joined by our president for 2020, Jonathan Lindley, and we are join, joined by Tony Lloyd as well. Uh, we thank you so much for taking some time. Um, we wanted to make sure to talk with you today because a lot of things have been stalled and as an association and our members, uh, you know, we're, we're by this point already have had a fishing tournament. We've already kind of had some events. And we're going to get right back on that ball and we're going to we're going to work on them and, and they're still going to be as successful as ever. But we did want to, you to share with the members some information, Tony and uh, Jonathan uh, and, and I are being very creative about what we talk about sometimes you're not gonna you're not gonna see us like doing the jig or anything but we're we're wanting to provide uh, helpful information to our members so welcome thank you thank you monica jonathan thank y'all for having me um i'm i was uh when i became chairman of tree pack one of the first things i wanted to do was um come to the fishing tournament so um i was maybe not quite as disappointed but pretty disappointed when we didn't get to get to do that uh, in the spring, but I know we'll come back around and be able to, to get going. So um, you are right, Monica, things have changed. Um, let me tell you what's awesome about being realtors and, and you've seen some of the national campaign, that's who we are. And uh, one of the things that has, has come out of this is just the resiliency of realtors, uh, the resiliencies of the folks involved in, in tree pack and what we're doing. Uh, it's, it's just been an awesome deal to see us still come together, uh, still uh, make sure we're doing what we need to do for our clients and, 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 just, and just taking off from there. Um, when some of this kind of hit, we, we did, um, you know, you mentioned it, Monica, we asked y'all to not cancel events, uh, but to uh, reschedule and, and regroup and see where we are. Um, as we have been going out, um, as I've been talking to people across the state, you know, different parts of the state are in different um, parts of coming out of all of this, if that makes sense. So uh, we're having to leave it, leave it up to everybody locally what, what, where they are and what they need to do next. But, uh, but we are seeing a lot of people start to have events. We're asking them to follow, you know, our guidelines that, is, that we have set up um, through our website. 
and um, and we've kind of gone from there. Now more than ever, and I know people are probably getting tired of seeing that, but when we started this this campaign this year, we asked people to start with why and and ask them to why tree pack. Why is in tree why is tree pack important to you and to your business and to your clients? And uh, as we went through this, it was never more clear to me why tree pack is so important in what we do. And uh, when we we look at that you know, we weren't just at the table when our legislators started getting together, when our governor decided what started deciding what we were going to do. We weren't just at the table. We were invited to come to the table uh, because of our past relationships with our legislators and our, our governor. So um, and, and, and we were there from the get go. We weren't an afterthought. We weren't, you know, coming down, coming, offering our advice later. We were asked to come to the table and, and, and talk about a plan for our state to come out of this. And we, we've, uh, we had Cindy on um, to a couple of weeks ago and, and we've talked about it as well uh, of how important it was to be in those conversations, to be asked to be part of them, um, mainly because that was how, as, uh, as a nationwide and locally, we were able to be considered essential. Jonathan, if you want to. Well, no, exactly. I mean, even to, you know, from us on a local standpoint here where we, you know, Monica, you and I were trying to reach out to our local judge, um, but it was that order of the governor that helped us. And, you know, as you said, Tony, we had a seat at that table and, you know, tree pack put us there. Um, I don't have my numbers, but Tony, if I'm not mistaken, I think what last year, 2019 tree pack uh, invested was a, a little over 5.4 million. That's correct. 5.8 5 .5 last year. 5.8. So, and to give the members an idea, that puts us as one of the top lobbyist groups in the state. And so, number one, number <laughs> one. Um, exactly. So, I know every association is different with their fair share. For us in McAllen, the fair share is $35. Um, but then, as you know, for those that haven't seen, you know, we're showing off our pins here and there. Uh, you have your major investors and you have your different sponsorship levels. Uh, Tony, even for someone to just invest $35, how important is that? Absolutely, Jonathan. Every dollar is important. Um, and, and the thing about it is, is if we can get people to even make that fair share investment, that, that kind of gets us started. And, and hopefully, and, and we don't want people just to give money, but so we'll quit bothering them, if that makes sense. We want them to give, give money and and know what that money's being used for. And, and the, the beauty to me of tree pack and, and why I got involved so many years ago in tree pack was it wasn't just for me. It wasn't just for my business. It was for all property owners. Um, and so it, it's, it's, it, we are, you know, think about this, if you will. Um, probably the biggest thing that's come out in a while was the transfer tax. But think about if, if we had a transfer tax in the state of Texas, and I think, I don't know what the latest stat is. I think we're one of eight states, only eight states that don't have a transfer tax. But think about if you're a buyer or seller, and I don't know about you guys. I know Jonathan sells the big houses. Sometimes I have first time home buyers or first time home sellers. And, uh, you know, sometimes our margins are really tight to be able to get a deal done. And that's part of our job is to try to figure that out and counsel them and, and get them going. But Think about if you had an additional 3% for the buyer going into a transaction and you had an additional 3% for the seller coming out of a transaction, what would that do to their livelihood if they were having to get, in Dallas, get from McAllen to Dallas, if they were moving or wherever, you know, think about what that would do to them. So um, every little bit helps. Um, obviously, we'd love to talk to you more about being a major investor. You're going to see some more information coming down the pipe too in our 100 year celebration that Cindy probably talked about a couple of weeks ago. Uh, but we are going to do a 100 for 100 campaign. And we know some times may be tough for a few folks this year, um, but everybody hopefully can can reach out and, and do. I know, Jonathan, you've already you've already got that started once, but um, we mm -hmm. want to try to do a do a hundred dollars for our 100th year anniversary. And uh, not to get too far into it, our goal this year was 5.9 million. And it is across the state and it is absolutely obtainable if we'll get everybody on board. And, um, and, and you look at across the state, our participation level is about 50%. 
We have about 130 realtors, but if we can get 40,000 realtors to give a hundred dollars, we'll, we'll hit 4 million. And we've already, we already raised this year before all the COVID-19 stuff hit, we've raised a, a, about 2.5 million. So um, it's all nice. before we can make it happen. Definitely, definitely. Uh, Tony, so I, I mean, I'm, I'm newer to tree pack, um, you know, not like yourself. Um, but something that we we were trying to do last year at the association, Monica, you were part of it too, is the uh, certified brokerages. Um, to any broker that's on here, Monica, perfect. Monica, you got, the, you got it up right there. Well, if I could figure out how to do this camera when it's backwards, first of all, I need to take the virtual screen off because it's it's affecting the ability to, for people to see it. But there. There you go. So yeah, Tony, if you could, you know, for any brokers that are listening, um, tree pack certified brokers, Tony, could you elaborate on that a little bit? Sure. What, what we try to do through the, the, the checklist on, as far as we ask brokers to use their passion private par for private property rights and their leadership to share the importance of tree pack with their agents. So many times, if we get our, our brokers on board, our agents are going to be on board. And so we, uh, if, if they get on, on board, um, what they have to do is follow tree pack on social media, just like we're talking about today, follow tree pack on Facebook, Twitter. Uh, and then also we ask them to, to text tree pack, uh, for mobile alerts. You can text, text the word tree pack to 512-806-10316 so that they'll get mobile alerts. And then we ask them to participate and sign up for NAR calls to action and make at least their share, fair share investment. So it's a pretty short checklist for what we ask them to do. But what it does again is it educates their, their agents on what the importance of tree pack is. And, and all of us you know, thrive on being an informed agent when we're talking to our consumers, to our clients, to our, to our uh, customers. So um, that's a great way to do that. On those, when you text those and you are part of a call to action, you're involved in what we're trying to do. Tree pack is the fundraising arm of what we're trying to do. Uh, you know, then we've got issues mobilization. We've got we've got everything kind of we've got this perfect machine if everybody will do what they're supposed to. But when you put 130,000 realtors behind something, it's probably going to happen, and our leg legislators know that. So when they get a when we get a call to action. You know, and, and 20,000 of our realtors across the state say, hey, Mr. Legislator, we want we want this for our people. They're listening to us because they they again, the money and the, the mass as far as the people go. I know. And I did uh, include in case anyone wants to know in the comments, I posted the link um, so y'all can go follow Tree Pack on Facebook. Um, so it's in the comments down below. And uh, <laughs> so also, uh, you know, we wanted to talk about um, the, we are in this together, Tony, if you could kind of elaborate a little bit and I'm gonna share the screen. So I'm gonna put it up on the screen Perfect. and share that so that our members can see it. But I, again, I've also included the link down below in the comments can't get used to this camera um, down below in the comments. So if anybody needs to go back to it or find it, they can. Um, but here, let me share the screen with everybody. Um, and if, and Monica, if, if so, if you go to uh, treepack.com uh, forward slash together, um, you'll you'll pull up this website. Um, and, and what we tried to do is, is we did, <laughs> if you know anything about uh, us folks, Jonathan included, in, that are that are live and breathe tree pack. You know, we are full, full speed ahead all the time <laughs> with trying to raise money because we know the good that it does for our, for our business and for our, our, our clients. Um, when COVID-19 kind of came along, we were already in the process of putting together a, a little video, um, but we felt like we needed to take off some of the pressure uh, because we didn't know what everybody was going through in their own communities. In doing that, though, we did push that we're in this together and that fits whether it was last year five or ten years ago or you know the years coming up we are in this together and and part of what we did is the acronym acronym pack for tree pack but the acronym pack was we want to promote advocate and connect and so um i think we we were able to do a really good job of that keeping everybody kind of informed with what was going on 
uh, and what they needed to be looking for. And then as we go through that and you scroll on down, you'll be able to pull some more of the resources that we have available. Um, that video I mentioned is there. Uh, we're asking people to share that. We've been asking people to share that. Uh, the uh, tree pack event resources during COVID-19, that's a great, um, a, a great thing to share with your members there in McAllen. Um, and then additional materials um, and share your why. And Jonathan, I think you've done that with share your why, um, but we we need we want to get everybody to kind of share with their why. Why tree pack is is important, and we're asking them to send a selfie with a one one page uh, why, or or to do a video and send it in so we can share those with everybody. If you scroll to the top of that website, that's what that picture is. Is we had a a trustee meeting and we all shared our our one word why. So uh, that that's that's part of what we're trying to do. You can see my ugly mug and it says community was my why. And I think that's uh, never been more important than right now. So please go to that website and, and, and check it out. But that's what, that's where we, that's what we've been working on. And that was treepack.com forward slash together. That's correct. Um, and that would, that's some great resources. And I know um, I, there was uh, some clicking stuff that I could click on the document that you were saying um, and people can download it. Um, so just going down to the tree pack event resources during COVID uh, to view those materials um, and then additional materials was also available. Download those if they want to. It's a great, great place to get some resources. Um, there you go. Yeah, and this is just a copy of one of those they can get on there, Monica, but it just has um, some of the things we were able to do um, as while we were at the table during COVID-19. So, so they can sure get on there and look at that. And that's, that's maybe the biggest thing that came out of this. And, and I, I mean, this has been hard on everybody, I, I know for sure, but actually my wife and I were talking about it a little bit too. There, there are some blessings to come out of this. Um, the, the blessing, it just, just so many uh, seeing people and that's what realtors do. We're, we're such advocates for our communities. We are, you know, we're the baseball coaches. We're the, the ushers at church. We're the, <laughs> but uh, it, it just pulls us to, together even stronger through this. And that, that form I just, or the, the, the brochure I just showed, showed you a little bit, it never came to truer light than, than we, when we were part of what was going on during all of that. Um, when this hit on a national perspective, um, realtors were not going to be included uh, in the professional or the unemployment group that was eligible for federal relief. Um, I don't know if y'all all know that, but we were able to get in front of them before that legislation was passed and make sure that we were part of that. Um, and I can't tell you how proud I am to be from Texas, and I know y'all are too, um, as I talk to people across the nation during some of our national meetings, um, I can tell you the, the realtors I talked to in New York, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, they weren't even able to leave their house. They were not able to contact anybody on their contact base. I mean, they were completely 100% shut down, if you can imagine that. Uh, which I can't because we like to talk. Realtors like to talk too, right? <laughs> but, but it, you know, just imagine that you were in the middle of a transaction that you were helping somebody through a, a tough time in their life or whatever, and that you were completely shut down. Uh, so once again, Texas, we, we, we do it right and we know what we're doing, but um, it, that's due to a lot of the relationships we've built over the years. And that's, you know, what I've uh, seen or noticed is that um, they're very active and they're very interested in the, you know, in Texas, the realtors are just really on top of the issues. And I know that next year we do have, you know, a legislative year and that because of the current situation and a lot of stuff, there's, it's going to be a very interesting session um, next year. And we're going to really need um, the realtors and, and as a whole, and, but statewide to really be on top of all legislation. So this is the time that we need to come together and give Texas and help Texas realtors um, get the resources that they need and raise the money that they need for all of the issues that is going to be impacted next year. Um, and there's never too soon. It's never too soon to start preparing for the next year. Um, you know, so I, I think that this is a good time 
And I know that y'all that there was a 100 for 100 in April, and I know Jonathan did it. I did it. Many of our board members did it um, because we wanted to, you know, to show our support during a time when we we couldn't when we weren't shut down completely, but when it was most needed. Um, and so we we know that when it comes up again, there's going to be many South Texans that are going to be excited to be part of the 100 for 100. And we're gonna do our share to push that information. Um, Jonathan, um, you know, you you have stepped up and you said you're, you know, you haven't been involved with Tree Pack that long, but you have been involved in, and since you mm -hmm. decided to not only join the association as a as a director to get involved in that way, um, you know, I remember when you were at the uh, uh, at BOLC that October, and you said. You, you were kind of, I mean, forgive me, but you were kind of like, wow, you were really kind of yeah, blown I, away. Exactly. I mean, um, you know, I, I mean, I'll just say it. I was uneducated about tree pack. I didn't know what it was. I didn't want to know what it was. All I just saw was money going out of my pocket. But uh, that first BOLC in 2017, uh, going to the, you know, uh, the tree pack session, that was completely mind blowing. My eyes were opened. Um, you know, I was excited. I came back, shared it with my, my office that I was with at that time. Uh, my dad, who's been an agent just a year longer than me, never invested. He's now a major investor. I mean, they, you know, that was just eye opening the importance of what tree pack is and what it does uh, for us, for our business, for our, for our clients. Um, you know, it was just completely mind blowing. And I wish that, you know, more people can experience that. Yeah, and I think that uh, we've been, you know, this is one of those moments uh, when we can share with our membership and, and educate them on what tree pack is and what it, how it works mm -hmm. to a great extent. We, you know, we have taken a lot of responsibility to do that during our new member orientations every month as well. Um, but yes, I think that until you really go and get that whole experience, it's hard to bring that energy back. Uh, but we are doing as great a job as possible. We've uh, been able to break our historical fundraising record every year, three years in a row. Guys, members, we cannot let this be the year that we slide backwards. So everybody needs to get get up to par and, and do their, their part to help us continue the upward trend that we've been having. Um, and Monica, if I can, I'll, I'll just congratulate you guys because you are leading by example. And, and, uh, and that's, that, uh, it does my heart good to hear Jonathan and y'all talk about the, the uh, tree pack orientation and BOLC, because that's where, you know, we hope you'll catch on fire and bring it back to your people just mm -hmm. like you have. Um, I had a, and y'all may know a, a, a man named Skeet Doss. He was a tree pack chairman many, uh, quite a while back, but he was somebody I really looked up to when I was, when I was first a trustee, but, and he kind of put it this way, um, tree pack is like insurance for your business. And so, you know, when, when everything kind of hits the floor, so to speak, you will always have tree pack to help you kind of, kind of put it back together. And, and you hit the nail on the head, Monica, this next year, we don't know what's going to come out of this because oil and gas is down. You know, it's going to be a tough, tough budget year, even though the transfer tax was a, made a constitutional amendment, it doesn't mean it can't come back up for, for, for different possibilities or fee for services, which is, is kind of a double taxation on our, on our commission. So absolutely, we want to stay as strong as we ever have. And we really have. I mean, people have been, like I said, our members across the state are, are amazing um, and resilient. And, and, you know, it was, it was a little bit of a bump in the road, but we just decided we may have to take a different path to get there. And I think all of our members will jump on board. The great thing about Tree Pack that I reiterate very uh, strongly with um, with our new members is uh, Tree Pack is is a statewide venture, and it's because we are stronger as a whole than we are in our parts. And when we are looking to speak to our state leadership, um, they look at the whole, and that is how we get their attention. And that, that is why it's important. You know, we're pulling all our resources in, in a bigger pot because it has a greater impact. 
And, and that's what's so great about tree pack. Well, and I'll tell you, Monica, kind of a funny story. And y'all have been on the Hill visits, I'm, I'm sure. And, you know, we want to try to get as many of your members to get to the Hill visits as possible next year. But um, on the Hill visits, whether on the state level or on the national level, all of our legislators go, oh, it must be real today. Because at the state level, we probably have, uh, you know, we've got 130,000 members. And we probably have, I think last time we had maybe 2,500 or 3,000 members show up to the, the Hill visits in Austin in, last April uh, or April before last. But it, it, you ex what you're saying is exactly right. That makes a huge impact when we're all walking around with our, I'm a realtor buddy. <clears throat> oh, when we're there. On the national level, we, we have about 10,000 realtors show up to the Capitol to visit with our congressmen and senators. So, and they all know it. They're like, oh my goodness, it's Realtor Day. And, and they, a lot of them, I mean, they want to see us, they want to talk to us because we're their local experts for, for back home. And, and hopefully as we build those relationships, they start calling us as much as we call them. So, but you're absolutely right. The, the, the power of us together is pretty unstoppable. Yeah, and we're hoping to continue that success. And, you know, it was important to, to bring you here to have you join us today so that uh, you could kind of give us the hip, hip, hurrah. We're going to get this done this year. I'll do, uh, we, I'll do whatever you want. Yeah, <laughs> you know, this is, this, is a, this is a great time to, to change a little bit for people to be distracted from the normal um, things that are going on. Um, and this is a positive thing. This is something that we can all do and feel a little bit more empowered with when we are, have been feeling a little bit without it the last couple of weeks. Yeah. So uh, this is a, a great moment for our state association and Texas Realtors and Tree Pack. And um, let's, let's, um, let's all come together. So we appreciate you coming on with us and providing some information and you know we'll see we don't know where we're gonna what's going to happen in the next couple of months uh but let's hope that we have some coming together at some point it's it's great we're 100 years as an association and we cannot forget that and we need to really um, so, uh, um enjoy the moment and celebrate it absolutely and I'm a hugger, Monica, so I've, I've been, it's been hard on me. <laughs> but, uh, and one other thing, Monica, because certainly it's a great time across the state of Texas, but it all starts at the local level. So you guys are doing an awesome job. And I, I pulled up all your numbers, of course, to see you before. Of course, talk to us. <laughs> well, y'all are just, y'all have maintained, you're doing great. I know, I can't wait to come to the fishing tournament. And, I, and I, has the date been set up? Yes. Yet? Yeah, okay. August the 14th and the 15th, August the 14th and the 15th, um, Louie's Backyard, um, and we're getting ready to uh, send that to to our, to our you guys, to uh, the state, so that they can give us the green light so that we can start sending out all our marketing and get all of that going, um, because we're very excited about it, and uh, it's, it's going to be a fun event. I think we already have 40 teams or close to 40. I want to. I want to. I want to see Tony at the barbecue competition. No, <laughs> that's something I do know something about. <laughs> there, we, there we go. I want to see Tony at the barbecue competition. That'd be fun. All right, give me some break. Well, yeah. It's well, only we, eight and a half hours from Lubbock to McAllen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now I grew up in McAdoo. Oh, I don't know if you knew that. <laughs> I, heard, I didn't know that. So awesome. Well, I just put that on my, I put the fishing tournament on my deal. Great. Um, so that. we will have that information. Hopefully we'll be able to start getting all that out there to everybody. And it is a great time. Um, and again, as you said, we're all going to be ready for, for some <laughs> to get out. <laughs> it's going to be like the, the running of the bulls. It's like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you guys for joining us on the membership Monday. Y'all have a great rest of the week. Go ahead, Jonathan. Monica, I got something real quick. Sure. I just want to, you know, tell all of our members, if anybody has questions about tree pack, if you're on the fence about tree pack, want to know what it is, you want to know more about tree pack, feel free to reach out to me, reach out to our tree pack chair, Lee Jinx. Monica, I'm sure you'd be happy to answer some of those calls as well. 
Um, Absolutely. You know, as Monica, as Monica said, I, when I went in 2017, I became a, a major investor instantly. I'm not saying that's for everybody. $35 is our fair share, but I know, I know the newest major investor is out there listening. So if you feel a call to step up and become a major investor, feel free to join us. We'd love to have you. Awesome. Great, great. Wait, I'll just, we'll end it there because that was too perfect. That was perfect. <laughs> Thank you so much, everybody. <laughs> everybody Thanks, have a great Thank rest you, of your day, rest of your week. Thank you, Tony. Bye, Bye Jonathan. Thank you very much. Have you Bye.